there, Zillstar. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through playing the Belody, which is one of our most popular finger symbol patterns, one of our most popular rhythms in Arab dance. I'm going to take you through playing it in one particular way. The beauty of this is that I'm going to show you what the open Belody is, what is the skeleton that makes the Belody the melody, and then knowing from there you can embellish and fill it in many different ways to create a variety of finger symbol patterns that all fit incredibly well with the melody. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so first let's look at the basic open structure of the melody. Now this methodology that we're going to be using is very much based in drum technique. So I've been studying a lot with Lauren Cecchio. I've studied a lot with Karim Nagy. Both of them are percussionists or drummers that also play zills. And what I love about the way they teach is that they create a cohesive idea of rhythm playing in Arab music. And as finger symbol players and dancers, we are rhythm players. We are musicians within the larger you know, painting of the music that is being created here for our dance. And so I've really enjoyed what I've learned from them as far as how do drummers do it and how we as zillers and dancers can do it in a complementary manner. So for these videos, we are using dooms are rings, techs are clacks, and our cause are going to be ticks that fill in in between the notes. Right, so let's go ahead and look first at the melody. The melody, if you break it down into its skeleton, right, this is what needs to exist in order for the melody to be the melody. We're looking at doom, doom, tech, doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, tech. If I'm counting this rhythm, if we're thinking, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and and three four one and and three four doom doom tech doom tech one and and three four right and if that counting is unfamiliar to you you can definitely check out all the other videos i have about musical counting because that's the methodology that i'll be using throughout all of these videos so if we're looking at our doom doom tech doom tech the bass skeleton of the melody is all going to be played on one hand when the drummer plays it on their tabla or whatever drum they're using it is played with their dominant hand it's played with their right hand so we are going to now play that basic melody using just our right hand, right? So if our dooms are rings, because with the drum, the doom is an open ringing sound. So our dooms are, I say ring, basics. We're going to use them as basics in my vocabulary, right? Where you close the zills down on top of each other and open them up as opposed to the ring, which is a rim to rim, right? So we're using the basic for our dooms. It's an open ringing sound, the basic. And then our techs are going to be clacks. And then once we begin to fill it in, we'll work with our ticks, but not yet. Yeah. So once again, we've got doom, doom, tech, doom, tech. So that's going to be ring, ring, clack, ring, clack, one and, and three, four, one and, and three, four, ring, ring, or I should say bass, bass, clack, bass. Clack, I'm gonna say bass, bass, because it's not a ring. We're using the basic, which I'll term as bass, yeah? So let's try this. It's going to be bass, bass, clack, bass, clack, bass, bass, clack, bass, clack is what we're working with. So we'll go nice and slow. Let's go ahead and do that four times on our right hand, and then four times on our left hand, yeah? Five, six, seven, eight. Switch again. Other hand. 
and fish. Let's do it one more time each hand. So how did that go for you? I would love to hear from you. I know the first time I was challenged to play just sort of this open melody, which is not what I had learned originally as a beginner ziller, it sort of blew my mind. Like it's a simpler concept in that it's very open, but it was all on one hand. It was using two different sounds and it was really challenging to me. So I'm curious to know if this is something that you've been exposed to before, or if you have been taught all of your basic rhythms with single sounds. And there's nothing wrong with getting started that way, but there is so much more available to the finger symbols and to you as a dancer and a ziller that I would love for you to learn. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this drill. And then if you would like to take your knowledge a step further, I invite you to join me for my even more delicious Zills subscription online where I give you brand new finger symbol content to help you take your zilling to the next level. You can join me there at sahirabellydances.com slash more delicious. In the meantime, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as I would love to send you fantastic new belly dance content every week.